Good morning. Welcome to late summer earth season yoga. Damasiti. This is the classical style, sometimes starting standing up. So Samasiti is mountain pose, but with the legs together if possible. The big toes touching, look down at your beautiful feet and give gratitude. So one of the elements, earth element, one of the ways of practicing that is to pay attention to where we touch the ground, to know that the earth is down below us. Close your eyes, make a clear connection with the soles of your feet. Feel them, let them spread, notice your toes. So we're perching quite a lot on a narrow foundation when we stand this way. I would try to stand evenly, samas, the word samas, same. Equal standing pose, shoulders, neck. Begin to gather energy into your low belly on your exhales. Breathing deeply through your nose. This is an important practice to Take the time to stand well with awareness, with ease. It is centering and grounding. Inhale one more time. Exhale, hands together. Inhale again for Om. Om. signifies our coming into the practice of yoga, joining the universe with our awareness, coming together, all inclusive. And now the sun. Let's do A, B, and C practices today. So A, we'll do a warm up A. Breathe in, reach your arms up, lift the plane of your face, lift your rib cage. So open your front body just a little bit. Exhale, forward fold. So the breaths really stretch out. If you need to take extra breaths, do forehead towards the legs. Halfway lift, breathe in. See if it's okay to keep your feet together for this bit. Bend your knees, spread your hands, right leg, left leg back, Parlakasana. Maybe the knees are down. We get to know our bodies, know where we need to pay attention, what we need to remember to activate. Here, a broadness in the back and the chest. One more deep breath. Bring down your knees where they are and tuck your toes, sit back to puppy pose. Go slowly, pay attention to your feet here, especially just the right amount of soul stretch. Head down towards the ground, let your head have a little earth time. Shoulders are broad, hands light. One more time, maybe some low back awareness in the breath on this one. Coming up for a little back bend, cow spine. Pull the hands under the shoulders, lift above the knees with your hips and extend your face and chest. Exhale to cat spine, press hands, ground the tops of your feet, curl your tail and your chin down. Two more times with slowness. This helps keep mobility in the spine. A little forward tilt in the pelvis with the cow, not too much of a tilt. Keep tone in the belly. One more time, inhale, extend, usually with the inhale. Exhale, flex. What would it be like if we exhaled here? I mean, inhaled here. Exhale, cow. Inhale, cat. And come to neutral. Downward facing dog, lift your knees. Feet about hip distance apart. Hands and feet connect with the earth.
so patient with yourself. Patience is compassionate. Causing no harm to your body. Breathing out with a long spine. Lengthen the sides of your waist as you reach your hips back. Big transition to half lift pose. Maybe with the feet together. Breathing in. Breathing out, fold towards your legs. Inhale, stand. Burn the legs. Feel them activate as you begin that request. It's okay. Knees can bend. Do the things you need to take care of your body. And breathe out. Bring down your arms by your sides. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Traditional one now. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Don't overdo it with the neck. Left leg back first. Then the right. And bring your knees down. Hug your elbows in. Dip. Straighten your arms, upward dog. Use your legs to guide your pelvis forward. Exhale, flip your feet, pike up your hips, stepping in, spread hands and feet for one. Your nose might feel more clear by the end of practice. Be determined to breathe through your nose. It creates a calm vibration in the middle of the forehead, among other things. One more time, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathing in. Exhale, fold towards the legs. Inhale, stand. Exhale, release. So we have that moment to align the shoulders. B, bend your knees, reach your arms, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold slowly towards the legs. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Bend your knees, go back, plank or a little dip. Upward facing dog, one slow inhale. Downward facing dog, one exhale. Right leg forward, angle the back heel, warrior A, come up. Exhale, flowing through. So you can just do plank down dog or add the dip and the up dog as well. There's this economizing here, one breath to get to downward dog and then one breath to stand up into warrior A. If you need extra breaths, just breathe. Exhale, fold. Upward facing dog or cow spine. Downward facing dog, five breaths becomes more restful. Maybe lift your toes a bit, firm your thighs. Rest your toes downward. Breathe out one more time. Halfway lift. So wait to breathe in until you really need to. Take your time. Fold forward. Slowly release your breath. Bend your knees. Squat. Upward reach. Inhale. Exhale. Back to where we started. Will you see are the classical one? Step your feet apart for this, please. Feeling the energy rise already. Thumbs crossed, fingers wide. This one you do it come up and go back. So inhale up, exhale, pelvis forward, lean back a bit, open your front body, and slowly fold towards the legs, breathe out. Right leg steps back, knee down to Anjani Asana. Five breaths. So you can stay right over the ankle with your front knee, or if you like bringing your hips forward in this one, that's fine. Arms up, shoulders down is a big meditation for me in yoga practice. My shoulders like to go up. What do your shoulders like to do? Then we can hold those two actions at the same time. One more time, breathing in. 
Breathe out, release your hands to the ground, take your leg back from your knees, dip into knees, chest and chin. High cobra on the knees like up dog. One breath to downward facing dog. Other side on Janiyasana, low lunge, release your back toes, rise for five. Pelvis forward to your own degree. This one's a spinal extension. This one's a sacrum pose. Make the earth connection. The downward centered eyes, part of that gaze. Four, five, step forward. Fold towards your legs. Stand up, crossing your thumbs on the way. Inhale. Exhale, go back. Inhale up. And exhale, release. A few cycles of breath to stand in the field. Stepping back to the crescent lunge with your left foot first. Concentration, steady gaze. Step your feet apart, pivot to the heel, or follow the foot, sorry. And bend your front knee over the ankle, your back knee towards the floor, and come up and down slowly a few times. You can add upward arms if that is something positive here, or keep them at your heart for balancing. Hover your knee lower towards the ground for a moment and reach your arms forward. Increases stability in the front thigh. One more time, deep breath. Lean forward. Kick your back foot out in front with an open mouth. Exhale and release. Energy increasing practice. Other side. Take a step back, you can go to warrior A and then spend to the ball of the foot, bend your knee. Maybe the arms up or maybe at the heart center, lower the back knee towards the floor and come up and down a few times. Concentration leads to meditation. Lower the knee, arms forward. You probably feel the power in this steadiness here. Coming out with a forward kick and release. Parshva Tanasana, right leg stepping back, straight leg stance forward, facing on the mat. Internal shoulder rotation come behind, start low, knuckles together, fingertips, palms, Work with where you are in this pose. Elbows lift. Inhale, lift the plane of your face towards the sky. Exhale, straight legs, bow forward. Adjust as needed. Big toe gaze, breathe out. Maybe fold over the leg a bit more, keeping the elbows a little lifted. Especially mindful in the shoulders, non forced. We let this develop over time. Inhale, stand up as you're ready. Use both legs. Stargaze at the top. Bring your hands down and away and step out, spinning your wrists. Ground your hands. Harjvo Tanasana, second side. Find the stance. Bring in the arms. Breathe in, breathe out, fold. For one, spread feet. The top of the head is earthing here as well. One more time, breathe out. Coming up with inhale, feel your leg muscles firm around the bones, rise, stargazer. Release, figure eights with the wrists, stepping out. 
ground. Standing on your right leg, warrior C. Bring your left leg back. Maybe the leg lifts or keeping the toes down. And as if you were going to pick up a sock or something off the floor, reach towards the floor. Hold steady as you can. Just keep trying. This is all building stability in your hip joint. Strengthening the back leg hip. One more time. This part's important, the coming up and out, concentrate. Feel how grounding mountain is. And the other side, mountain on one leg, basically. Toes touch, maybe lift. You can go, go pick something up off the floor with a straight standing leg. One more. Trying the whole time is important. And then inhale, coming up. No matter what happens, the result is not important as important as the effort. UBC. Please bend your knees and step to the left side of your mat. So some side facing practices, the lateral lunge, wide parallel feet. Bend your knee towards your toes. So you're strengthening the outer line of the hip, leg, knee. It reminds me of like skiing and that outward push into that outer edge of the foot. Not that I've done a lot of skiing. One more time, breathe out a little bit. Coming up, inhale. Other side, track your knee out towards your toes. Lateral lunge from wide standing forward fold. Two. One more breath out, press into that foot to come out and release. Inhale, wide feet. Exhale, bow forward, fold forward. A position, hands come to the ground-ish. Maybe the knees are bending. Walking your hands back, heels of hands, heels of feet possibly in line. Arms like chaturanga, elbows bent, hugging towards each other, head down. Reaching top of head towards the floor. Low belly hollows upward, Uddiyana Bandha. Exhale once again. Halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the waist. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale here. Turning out the toes. Just in a 45 degree turnout, perhaps with a lateral lunge, not lateral lunge, side lunge. Sorry, bend your knee towards your toes. So there's a different angle of the leg and come up to the other side, knee towards the toes and come up. Let's do it five times back and forth. Go as low as it feels possible for you. And two, maybe add the tap out with the opposite arm. Three, all the way to center. Three, four, four, five, and five. Back to the first side for the hold. So just come and stay. Optional to do a one leg squat. If that works in your body, maybe lifting the back toes. Cause no harm. Meet yourself where you are. That's where yoga is not really woo woo. It is like really concrete. It is absolutely this is what is right now. This is what's real. <laughs> Over to the other side in our bodies. So maybe that works to do a lower squat on this side. Maybe it doesn't, it's fine. It all, if done properly, will help increase your strength and flexibility. Wiggle, 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 
working where you are increases your peace. Four. And five. Working your way up and out. And coming upright. Wide parallel feet once again. Prasarita C. Reach your arms, breathe in. Interlace your fingers behind your back, breathe out. What about switching to the interlace you don't use as, as naturally? Take a moment to stretch your neck, bring your chin down, a little time off to each side. And then a bit of a shoulder blade squeeze to lift your chest, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out, knees can bend, all that. Tone in the tummy. Arms away from the back if it works to do that. Shoulder blades together, shoulder joint soft. Letting the arms come towards the head a little bit. Keeping a tiny bit of a forward roll in your shoulders too so you don't overdo. One more time going down. Let your hands reach, help you come up, reach up and down, and then you're back upright. Stretch out your arms. Warrior B is a root chakra pose. So spin your right leg, bend your knee over your ankle, come down the center, deep spacing between the feet and add a head turn. Put energy into the shape, but not too much. Finding that balance, changing sides. Notice when you change your gaze, which order of things is up to you. Find your way to the other side. Equal reaching. Exhale. Inhale, come up, back to the first side. Extended side angle pose, reaching out. Turn your rib cage towards the sky and gaze at your reaching hand. Feel your low back lengthening here, breathing out on that top side. So. Coming out slowly strengthens your lower back. Pay attention to that part of your body coming up. Back to the other side. Starts with warrior B. Lean and reach. Paying attention to the lower back as you spin your rib cage skyward. Gather your fingers, gaze to your reaching palm. One more, exhale deeply. Remember the slowness, feel the lower back, come up and out. And we'll finish with extended triangle. The feet about a leg's length apart and bring my feet in a little bit closer. Turn that right heel out again, stretch the arms, breathe in. Another lower back pose, breathe out, Uddiyana Bandha, navel awareness. Come over and down slowly. If it feels okay to not support the pose with your bottom hand today, leave it floating or grounded if you need it. So we're lengthening out to the sides. Spin your face and your eyes upward a bit. Strong legs, open feet, strong belly. Come up with an inhale, try to use your whole body, turn your legs as you're ready, over to the side, coming in and out of this slowly is incredibly powerful. Maybe floating that bottom hand today. One more. Come up with a slow in-breath. Rest your arms, work your way back to the top section. 
of your mat. Stepping your feet comfortably wide to explore this mudra of flowing squat. We reach the hands up and then lower them and bend our knees and squat. So to any degree coming down and up a few times. You take your own time with this practice. So you can just stop about hips about level to the knees is great. That's nice and low, but really customize it. It's okay to go lower than that. Concentrate, come down one more time and hold steady. Two. Clear connection with the earth through the feet and release your hips all the way down. Maybe you use your hands. You can be creative. I've been practicing that for a while, that coming down in the squat. I'm coming to Baddha Konasana, bringing feet together, giving a little time for that arriving. Good. Yeah, just a little sway feels kind of good right now. It's okay, we're not following a super linear, linear traditional practice. We are doing yoga exploration, so movement, why not? Find center, breathe in, sit tall, breathe out, open your feet like a book in front of you and bring your heart into that space. Give your body a little time here to find the range of motion. And don't worry about where it is, but find where it is. Let's see, that's good for today. That's enough for today. And turning this one into the rounded spine, see if you can curl your tail under a little bit and round your spine like cat and bring your forehead towards the feet instead of your heart. Really lengthening the back of the neck, base of the skull, stretching. One more. And rise up. Guide your legs together. Cross your ankles, bring your hands by your sides. Lift up your hips and lower. Use your feet, lean forward, hips pop up, two, and three. Cross your ankles the other way. This is the reset button. Little lift of the hips. So physics, lean your head forward, press your hands, and come up. Bring your left leg forward and your right leg back into pinwheel. I like to move so I get my back knee surface on the mat. The feet can be closer to the body or more open. Listen to your lower body joints. Sit up tall, face forward. Walk forward and down to your own degree. So a relative of pigeon pose. Find a place where the work is interesting and positive. One more cycle of breath. Returning upright, changing sides. A little bit of a break dance move there. Spin around, come to the outer surface of your front leg and the inner surface of your back leg. And give yourself a moment to play with the angle of the knees. So your feet might be closer to your body or further away and all of that's fine. Just Feel and customize. Sit tall, face forward-ish. Walk out and down slowly. So at any point, some part of your body will say, that's good. Listen to that part of your body. Whatever says it first. For one, two, three, 
four, five. Slow, walking upright. Make your way to a downward facing dog pose. Spread your hands. Let's hover the knees to begin. And five. Auto Mukha, downward dog. One more breath. Short dog. Bring your feet in a little closer. See how that goes. This can inform your regular dog. And let's try long dog, stepping the feet further back than you normally would. So the heels are probably up more, can be more effortful in the upper body. Just notice what that shift does. Low belly, nice and active. One more. Walk your feet forward and bring your right leg, right foot outside of your right hand for lizard lunge, staying on the inside with both arms. The turnout of the front leg is up to you. You can turn out a bit more, but do track the hip, knee, and foot in the same angle. Back knee can come down. You can lower to your forearms. So change something if you want to and give this five cycles of breath. Exhale, five. Back knee down. Hanuman, a nice transition pose. Cross the right arm back over, fold over that leg. Draw back on the toes. Earth connection. Remember to keep your meditation on earth today as one possibility. Each pose has a foundation. Breathe out again. And then bringing that leg back, coming to the other side. Maybe lifting the back knee, maybe keeping it down. A few breaths just to do refinements. Scan your body and then hold steady five, four, We can add the mula banda, the pelvic floor toning in and up, especially when the legs are wide. That's a nice way to add another layer of stability and protection of the body. Keep that in mind as you transition down and back into Hanuman. Uncross, toes back, fold. One more time. Exhale completely. Gently coming into your range of motion, just knowing that you can grow a little bit in that last part of the pose. Bend your knee, release your leg back. Forearm bare. Cover your knees. Hands flat or together. Lower is harder. Step your legs back one at a time and bring yourself down to your belly. Widen your legs and feet about as wide as your mat, pelvis rock side to side. Coming to a sphinx on the elbows. You'll bring your arms forward and lower your belly down until you have a little comfortable back bend. Principles of back bending. Legs grounded, pelvis forward, rib cage lifting, gaze down the nose.
Breathe out one more time. Side lying half bow to the left. Roll to the side and find your balance, supporting your head with an outstretched arm. I started calling this one ridge line pose before I went on vacation. Just better, just feel your contours, side lying mountain. So we've uh, had this time to work on the balance aspect to arrive in this part of the body, finding the connection with the earth. Adding a side lying back bend, reach for your ankle or your foot, whatever you can catch. Strap would be fine. Mindful of shoulder and front pelvis. So press your foot into your hand to open that space into a half bow. You can be creative with your grounding, with your what's touching the ground. Move it as needed. Four, one more cycle of breath. Opening the front body and release. Take your time. Roll through center with control and over to the second side. Notice the earth connection. Engaging the bandhas, the low bandhas, Uddiyana navel, mula, root. Finding that subtle core stability here. Side lying half bow, catch. Pelvis forward a bit, mindful. Another way of balancing, one more time. And release. And in front of your chest can help you control the roll back to your belly. Ground your forearms, hands flat or together. Let's return to the forearm bear. Hover your knees. Upper body strength. Hip strength, lower your knees a little more, one more breath. Bring them to the ground, release your feet and go back to your own child's pose favorite. Is it knees together or apart? And let's come off the arms, just let them drape. Let's just shoulders be heavy. Mindful stretching around your knees. Hips high or low. Breathing out one more time. And rising up. Sitting with the legs folded for a bit of practice. So if you need to do something alternatively, like sitting on your, your pelvis instead of on your heels. Little Thunderbolt, this one's called. Supports the foundation of a neutral spine. We can add the Pran Mudra where we touch the thumbs to the ring and pinky fingers. Activating Earth energy. Feel your breath slow down. One more cycle, Pran Mudra in Varajasana's pose. Five breath meditation. Make your way to your seat. You can just come sit or you can do a flow through, especially if you're restless in any way, body, mind, spirit, add that and then come and sit down. Point your toes, tilt forward.
Back body can be tight. And five with pointed toes. And now the traditional way with this pose, come up halfway, bring your toes back. Breathe in. Breathe out, fold with the toes drawing back. Tilting the pelvis to extend the spine. One more breath out. Inhale, come up with a little slowness. Point your toes, heart lift pose, hands back, fingers forward. Lift your chest. If you want to lift your hips, you can. Two. You can give the same energy to the pose with the hips down and release. Coming slowly to the back of your body. Lie down legs straight if possible. Coming to bridge pose foundation. This is a nice earth pose bridge. Have a little time to align and relax into it for a little while. Connect where you touch the ground, where you don't touch the ground. Begin activating Uddiyana Bandha and Mula Bandha. Using the exhale through this downward energy naturally creates the contraction in the belly Add to it the gathering of the pelvic floor muscles in and up into the body. One more breath with that awareness. And then keeping that lightly engaged as you come up into bridge pose. Try to keep that engagement. And we add the upper bandha here. The chest comes towards the chin, creating Jalandhara bandha, the throat lock. So the energy of the body circulates in the torso. One more time. Try to keep the tone in the pelvic floor as you come down. All the way down and then let all of that relax, intentionally releasing. Let's do that one more time. Bridge pose with the bandhas. So foundation refined, head centered, nice long spine. Breathe in. Breathe out down to the belly center, navel in and up towards the spine. It's connected to the pelvic floor. Maybe they both feel a little activation. Come up as you're ready. Try to hold that, keep your meditation on the inner uplift as well as the outer uplift. Four, maybe slightly higher. Slowly come down, keep the tone. Once your pelvis lands, relax all of that. It's as important as being able to engage it to release it. Bring your feet together. Walk them in close to your body. Keep your arms grounded and see about lifting both toes off the floor at the same time, both sets of toes. If it's too much in your low back, one comes up first and then the other follows. Bring your feet towards the sky. Bring your arms into the air. Arms and legs widen a little bit. Coming back, shoulder and hip width apart. And let's see about catching the big toe roots, your happy baby pose today. So this, this energy point is where the earth energy comes into the body in Chinese medicine. Holding the roots of the big toes, 
Draw your knees down on the sides of your torso. Neck is long. A little gentle movement is fine. Another cycle of breath. Release your catch. Legs together, arms down. Feet close, close to the body for this lowering. Bring your right knee to your chest. Weave your fingers and stretch out your left leg pointing the toes. Check in, how's your spine? Nice and long and centered. Add some ankle pumps on the right side. Stillness. Changing sides. You may do that in your own way. Stretch out your other leg, pointing the toes. Feel how that affects your hip to have your toes pointed there. Stretching hip flexors. Woven fingers. Quiet, slow breathing. And releasing that set of toes down, stretching out the leg. Do a banana pose on our backs today to get into the side body a little bit more. So work both of your feet over towards the right side of your mat. And crossing your left ankle over your right as an option. Stay on your back body as you shift your shoulder blades and, and your head over to the right side as well. And consider bringing your arms up. Slowly come to the other side. Letting the right side of the body lengthen. Back to center, receive rest. Let go of the efforts as you arrange your body to be comfortable, aligned, open on the back. With an open mouth, exhale, release the breath. Release all effort of directing the breath. And enjoy some stillness. Notice how the earth holds you here. How the light surrounds you. The senses help us come into our somatic experience.
to transition from this pose into a lying spinal rotation of your choice. Maybe letting just both knees bend a bit and spill to one side, turning your head the other way, starting to let the eyes open a little bit more. Rotations bring gentle energy. Breathe deeply again along the spine. Feel the navel sink on the exhale. Supporting the movement of your pelvis and legs over to the other side with that tone in the tummy. Settle, turn your head, rest your arms. Let a little bit of light in. One more time. Navel towards the spine. How would you like to come to sitting? Roll to one side, rock up in the center. All fine. No harming. Crisscross. Observing your body's energy transformed by an hour of yoga practices. This is part of you now with a grateful heart. Receive one hand open, one hand down. giving and receiving in equal measure. Breathing in, breathing out, equal measure. Hands come together. Pranamasana, float the elbows, float the hands, breathing in. Ah. Grateful for your inspiration for the practice this morning. Give your body some hydration. Try not to put too much cold water on the fire of your belly. If you're like me and you love cold beverages, try to take it easy and drink them a little less cold.